Election Commission of India. In this module, you will learn about the Election Commission of India, its roles and functions. Elections constitute the soul of a healthy democracy. It is a process by which people exercise control over the government. However, conducting an election is not an easy task given the large population and the geographical extent of modern nations. Similar is the situation for India, the largest democracy in the world. Therefore, the Constitution of India provides for an election commission to conduct free and fair elections in India. It is also known as Nirvachan Sadan. The Election Commission of India consists of one Chief Election Commissioner and two other Election Commissioners. They are appointed by the President for a term of six years. The position of the Election Commission is identical to that of the Supreme Court judges. We can now look at the functions of the Election Commission of India. The Election Commission enjoys complete autonomy and is responsible for conducting elections to the Parliament, State Legislatures and Office of the President and the Vice President. It is responsible for preparation of electoral rolls, fixing the date of elections, supervising the elections, arranging for counting of votes and declaration of the results. The Election Commission also advises the President on certain issues. The Election Commission is an independent and impartial body. There are several provisions which ensure its independence. The election commissioners are appointed for a term of six years or he can hold the office till he attains the age of 65 years. They can be removed from the office in the same manner as the judge of the Supreme Court. An election commissioner cannot be removed from office except on the recommendation of the Chief Election Commissioner. The condition of service of a Commissioner shall not be varied to his disadvantage after his appointment. Some additional staff can also be provided to them by the State or Union Government to perform certain functions. Every state has a chief electoral officer nominated by the Election Commission of India. The chief electoral officer is an officer of government of a state. It is the duty of the chief electoral officer to supervise election work in the state. The Election Commission of India also nominates officers of government as observers for the Parliament and the State Legislative Constituencies. They perform functions entrusted to them by the Commission. The appointment of observers is a statutory one and they report directly to the Commission. The State Election Commissions were constituted under the 73rd and 74th Constitutional Amendment Acts. The State Election Commissions work independently in every state. According to Acts, each state and union territory was entrusted with powers to conduct elections to municipality, municipal corporation, village panchayat and other local bodies. Thus, the Election Commission of India plays a pivotal role in conducting free and fair elections in India. 
let's recall what you have learned. Elections constitute the soul of a healthy democracy. It is a process by which people exercise control over the government. The Constitution of India provides for an election commission to conduct free and fair elections in India. It is also known as Nirvachan Sadan. The Election Commission of India consists of one chief election commissioner and two other election commissioners appointed by the president for a term of six years. The Election Commission enjoys complete autonomy and is responsible for conduction of elections to the parliament, elections to the state legislatures, an election to the office of the president and the vice president. The election commission is an independent and impartial body. Every state has a chief electoral officer nominated by the election commission of India. It is the duty of the chief electoral officer to supervise election work in the state. The Election Commission of India also nominates officers of government as observers for parliament and state legislative constituencies. The state election commissions were constituted under the 73rd and 74th Constitutional Amendment Acts.